Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrapcraft Tastic, and I'm going to show you how to make the pocket folder for A5 rings. There's two different ways I'm going to show you to do this. One is if you have double sided paper, which is the easiest way to do it. And then I will also show you how to create one with single sided paper. It's a little more involved, but pretty simple to do. And you can do this with basic supplies so it's it's fairly simple in the size matter video and I'll link that I show you the difference between the actual a5 size and the half letter and again you can see here that there is a slight difference in the two so depending on your preference you could use either one so for this particular project, I'm, I'm really just going to use a combination of the two because they are so close in size. If you want to be specific, then you know you have the measurements. You can measure it. It's a very simple adjustment if you want to be more precise. I want my folder to be a little bit wider and a little bit longer so that it also kind of acts like a divider. So I'm going to first choose my paper and again this works great with double sided paper. If you don't mind having the white background then that's fine too. Um, I think I flipped through and decided on either this one or this one. I think I'm going to go with this one. And this is the die cuts with a view Perry and Peach. Um, double-sided paper this is from Joanne and these papers don't have the perforation at the top where you can tear off the extra little piece where the hole is so I'm gonna have to trim that down first to get a true 12 by 12 sheet so what you want to do is start with a 12 by 12 Okay, and then decide what part you want to be your inside, what point part you want to be the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the half letter because it is taller, as you can see. So I'm going to use the half letter as my guide. Now, I've already cut these and made myself a template, basically, so I could use this as a guide to mark where I want to fold because I'm going to do a bottom fold which will be our pocket that folds up. So then we're going to fold in the middle to make this folder have a pocket on front and back or on both sides. So essentially I could use this and just mark here to show where I want my bottom fold to be because it would be the full length of the folder then the pocket would fold up. But I want my folder to be a little longer like I mentioned it's going to be a little longer than a5 and going to be it's going to be a little wider than half letter so I'm not going to get caught up in the measurements I just I just do that because I'm thinking that some people are really specific with their measurements so I just want to make that clear <laughs> so what I'm going to do in this case is since I'm using the half letter height I don't want to confuse you I am going to score across the bottom of my paper. This would be the bottom. Oh, these aren't even hearts. Close enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to score at eight and a half. Then I'm going to turn around. This is the way that it would rest in my uh, planner. So I need to score in the center at six inches. So you're going to score in the center at six inches with your paper top with the top of your folder at the top of your scoreboard. Then you're going to score at eight and a half with the top of your 
folder to the left and you score eight and a half there. So let's put this together. I hope I didn't confuse the issue. So once you've done your scores, again, you need to decide what part you want to be, not the outside, but the top part of your folder and the bottom part. I want this to show in the top. So I'm going to fold this bottom piece up, give it a good score. Then I'm going to fold my center fold. Make sure everything is lined up well. And give it a good burnish. Okay, so at this point, this is your basic folder. So you can actually glue this part together, add a little glue on the pockets on either side to hold those down. You don't necessarily need to because the rings in your binder is going to hold this folder closed. But if you want a little extra security, you can go ahead and glue the pieces together. And this is the side. The side that opens is the side where you would punch your holes for your rings and I'll show you that. So this is the binder that I'm making this for. And I'm just going to use this ruler to as a guide to show me where to punch the holes and I'm going to use my crop dial because I have messed up my Dollar Tree <laughs> um, hole punch so again and you could also do the uh, the notched holes kind of like on that are on this ruler if you want to easily be able to pop your folder in and out without opening your rings you could do that too as you can see this has little notches for each hole that allow you to easily place your ruler in. So you could use that for any type of insert that you put in your binder just in case you didn't know. <laughs> okay so now I've marked where I want to punch my holes. I'm going to use the larger setting on the larger hole on my uh, Pop a dial and punch the holes. Okay, so because my hole punch does is not a, a full quarter inch punch or nine sixteenths of an inch or whatever it's supposed to be, I am going to go ahead and cut the slits because it will make it easier. Since my holes are slightly smaller using the crocodile. And if you wanted to glue this together, make sure you do that before you punch your holes and do your slits. Okay, so now let's pop our folder in here. I'm going to leave the ruler in the front for now so it just easily pop in just like this okay and just so just as a reference I'm going to just going to use one of the actual inserts to show you a size comparison we didn't cut anything all we did is well we cut the notches but we didn't cut the size of the paper any so let me take this out so you can see the actual size is very very close to the actual size of the insert maybe to give you a better look at it let's do it with the black so see very close in size. That's the actual A5 size. This is the half letter size. So it still ha maintains that same height, which I like because I'm super picky. Okay. I like that it maintains the same height as half letter, but is slightly wider 
that way when I use half letter inserts my inserts aren't hanging out from the bottom if that makes any sense so if I were to just make this the regular half letter size it would be shorter then when I come in and put my half letter inserts in they would be hanging out the bottom just like that so or off the top depending on how you align your holes so that's why I like to just use the full 12 by 12 page and measure the height of the background area of the inside of the folder at eight and a half inches I hope that's not very confu too confusing and I hope that makes sense um, but that is how you make the first folder with the double sided paper so now I'm going to show you how to make one with the single sided paper okay and for this single sided folder I'm going to use the razzle dazzle paper this paper pad is well used and I just need to figure out which papers I want to use I think I want to use the diamonds with the black background or either the bricks Let's see. I'm going to use this and the diamonds Too good. good together. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be our main background, the biggest piece. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this at eight and a half. Again, we're using the height of the half letter size. So I'm going to trim it at eight and a half. And really you could make two opposite folders doing it this way because this could be the bottom edge of your other folder so with this piece then I would need to trim it at eight and a half as well but I need the piece that will be left over which is three and a half inches So these two pieces I could set aside and make another folder that would be opposite. We're going to do this one. Okay. So for this one I need to score both of these in the center at 6 inches. Or you could simply just fold it. So now I'm going to fold and burnish the edge on this one. And the same on this piece. So this is how this would fit together, just like so. Okay. Now this one, the only place that you would have to glue is a, a very small bead of glue or a line of glue across the bottom of this. You could glue both sides, but again, like with the other folder, the rings will hold this closed unless you want a little extra protection. Um, I'm just going to use this double sided tape from Joanne to place my pocket on the folder okay. 
And you can also cut a decorative edge here if you want. Um, this could be a piece of acetate or vellum. If it's a sturdy vellum, you can use any materials that you want for these. I'm just using cardstock as an easy, quick way to show you, but you can use other materials or media to do this. So make sure we get everything lined up. I just peeled off one little piece, one little corner that gives me the opportunity to line this up. before I completely remove it. There you go. So, let's fold it in half again. Do all of our burnishing. Marry everything together. Then I'm going to take my ruler again as a guide for my punch. To punch my holes. If you don't have a ruler or a guide to punch your holes, or if you don't have anything, any pages in your binder, what you can do, let's see, I have a piece of paper that I use as a template for things, is place a piece of paper up against your rings like this, and then use a pencil to go in and mark where the holes would be. Now you might have to experiment a few times with just an extra piece of paper to make sure you get it right and then keep whichever one works best as a template so that you'll have a way to quickly and easily punch your holes. So I'm going to use this again to draw my punch locations. So now we can put this in here. I didn't cut the slits on this one. As you can see. And it fits right in there just like that. Okay. So now we have a folder done both ways. One with double-sided paper, the easiest way, and one with single-sided paper. And then here's another version, the same things that I've made. This was made with single-sided paper as well. And then this one was made with the double-sided paper. And again, I like this because I could easily flip this around and use it the other way fold it the other way so there you have it that is quick and easy way to make a fold pocket folder for your a5 you can laminate them and break the laminate similar to the traveler's notebook folders and I'll link um, the video for that as well if you want me to come back and show you how to laminate them I mean it's it's very simple but if you'd like to see how to do that let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye